the Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Jeremy and this is Chad and we're just a couple of officers relaxing at Historic Fort Wayne in the mess hall and I want to say thank you to the Historic Fort Wayne Coalition for allowing us to come in here. We're going to continue a look at soldiers games by playing a different variant of dominoes called Play or Draw. We went through a little bit more detail in the dominoes such as some terminology in a previous episode called Block Dominoes. If you haven't watched that I recommend go check that one out. So player draw, we're going to start off first by deciding who plays first. So we each flip over a domino and we go with the person with the lowest amount of pips, which are the dots, is who gets to play first. So in this case that's going to be me and we're going to put those back and give it a quick shuffle. Now the version of Hoyles that we're working with actually mentions that getting to go first is a great advantage. Because part of the idea is you want to get rid of your dominoes first, but also you want to make sure you get rid of high pipped dominoes as well. So going first helps with that ad advantage. The next step is we each draw seven out of the pile. And as we're finishing drawing these up, I also want to just say thank you to Mitch Kreidel for allowing us to use his original set of dominoes to show you this game today. Now, in the book, it's a little silent on whether or not the other player should see your dominoes. It doesn't say anything at all about that, but we're going to assume we don't want that. Since I had that lowest pip count first, I get to go. So I am going to play this 5-5 five, five, as it's one of the highest pipped ones that I have. I'm also playing a double in the hopes that maybe he doesn't have any fives and he'll immediately have to draw. And that didn't work. So this variant is different than what we played in block dominoes because you either play or you draw. And we'll show you that when we get there. So I have a tray or a five, and it looks like I have a five ace that I can play. And I have a three that I can play, or a tray that I can play. And then we have a blank or sixes. And I just happen to have a blank that I can put out there. Looks like we both had pretty good hands because none of us have had to draw yet. And I have a blank. So now he has to have a blank or a deuce in order to play. Ooh, and he had something. All right, so I've reached the point where I don't have a deuce and I don't have a blank. So I'm blocked. So in this case, I can't play, so therefore I have to draw out of the pile. Now I have to keep drawing until I can play. And I happen to get lucky and I drew one that I can play. So I'm going to lay that down and it goes back to Chad. All right, looks like he was blocked, so he's drawing and he got lucky and got one to play. And now I can play off of him. All right, so he drew, but he can't play it, so he's going in and has to draw another one. That one he's able to play. And I have a double ace, and I am out. So therefore, I won this hand. Now, if for some reason we got into the situation where we were both playing, and we both became to the point where, for some reason, we couldn't play anymore. We were both blocked. We ran out of dominoes to draw. We couldn't play anything out of our hand. Then we'd end of the game and we'd count up the pips and the person with the lowest number of pips would then win the game. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Civil War Digital Digest. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at another soldier game and also getting to view some originals. If you enjoyed this episode hit that subscribe button and please share it out to your friends so they can enjoy the content as well. And thank you to our patrons for all they do for us as well.